Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, dear viewers, uh, welcome to lecture number two, special lecture number two, uh, which is about the breaks. Uh, students, आज के लेक्चर में हम ब्रेक्स पे एक डिस्कशन करेंगे आजकल जहाँ पे इकोनॉमिक्स की कोई न्यूज़ आती है तो उसमें ब्रेक्स का जिक्र ज़रूर होता है वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी में ये जो ब्रेक्स ग्रुप है ये इमर्ज हो रहा है सो so, आज का लेक्चर जनरल पब्लिक के लिए स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स के लिए सी और पी के जो कैंडिडेट्स हैं तो उनके लिए और दूसरे जो कम्पटिव जो कम्पटिव एग्जाम्स हैं तो उनकी तैयारी करने वाले स्टूडेंट्स के लिए करंट अफेयर्स के तौर पे एक इम्पॉर्टेंट लेक्चर है सो आई स्टार्ट करते हैं कि ब्रेक्स है क्या और ब्रेक्स का वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी में क्या रोल है और फ्यूचर में ये क्या रोल प्ले कर सकता है सो व्यूवर्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन अराइज इज वट इज ब्रेक्स ब्रेक्स इज एन इनफॉर्मल ग्रुप ऑफ द स्टेट कंप्राइजिंग ब्राजील रशियन फेडरेशन इंडिया चाइना एंड साउथ अफ्रीका व्यूवर्स इसमें ब्रेक्स में बी स्टैंड फॉर ब्राजील आर फॉर रशिया आई फॉर इंडिया सी फॉर चाइना एंड एस फॉर साउथ अफ्रीका अगर हम देख लें तो ब्राजील भी वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमी में इसका एक बड़ा इंपॉर्टेंट रोल है बड़ी इकोनॉमी है रशिया रशिया इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी बिग इकोनॉमी इंडियन इकोनॉमी चाइनीज इकोनॉमी ये सारी जो इकोनॉमीज हैं ये वर्ल्ड की जो इमर्जिंग इकोनॉमीज हैं बड़ी बड़ी इकोनॉमीज हैं ये उनमें से हैं साउथ अफ्रीका इज ऑल्सो एन इमर्जिंग इकोनॉमी सो द ब्रेक स्टैंड फॉर ब्राजील रशिया इंडिया चाइना एंड साउथ अफ्रीका After defining the breaks, uh, the next question arises: When was it established? The Russian initiated the creation of breaks. Mainly, the idea was the Russian scheme. And in 2006, the uh, breaks were established. On 20th September 2006, the first breaks meet ministerial meeting was held at the Palace of Russian President Putin in New York. तो ब्रेक्स की जो मिनिस्ट्री की मीटिंग की फर्स्ट मीटिंग इसका जो स्टार्ट हुआ था वो न्यूयॉर्क से स्टार्ट हुआ था जहां पे 2006 में इनकी एक मीटिंग हुई थी दी फॉरन मिनिस्टर्स ऑफ रशिया ब्राजील चाइना एंड इंडियन डिफेंस मिनिस्टर टुक पार्ट इन द मीटिंग दे एक्सप्रेस देयर इंटरेस्ट इन एक्सपेंडिंग द मल्टीलेटर कोऑपरेशन ये इन कंट्रीज के जो मिनिस्टर्स हैं इन्होंने इसमें मीटिंग की थी और यहाँ पे फॉर्मली दे हैड डिसाइडेड टू इस्टेब्लिश दी ब्रेक्स The question arises now: uh, uh, How important the BRICS countries in, uh, are in the world economy? So, in 2013, the BRICS accounted for 25% of the uh, global GDP, and now uh, almost 24% uh, of the GDP, uh, world GDP, comprises of the BRICS countries. This means that uh, the BRICS countries account for one fourth of the world GDP. Similarly, uh, about 40% of the world population lives in the BRICS countries. Uh, the data is a little old one. Uh, 2013 में 2.88 billion population uh, world population वो BRICS countries में रह रही थी तो uh, जो जो 40 almost वो कि 42% बनती थी लेकिन ये uh, just now it is for about around the 40%. और so far the uh, surface of land is concerned तो हमारी जो planet है उसका 26 परसेंट एरिया है इट इज कवर्ड बाय दी ब्रेक्स कंट्रीज लुक हियर फॉर द एफ डी आई इनफ्लो फॉर डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट विच वॉज जस्ट एटी फोर बिलियन डॉलर इन टू थाउजेंड वन जस्ट इन पीरियड ऑफ 10 ईयर्स इट रीच टू नाइनटी नाइन बिलियन डॉलर विच शोड एन इंक्रीज ऑफ थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट अभी वर्ष ये जो इंक्रीज आया है तो देखते हैं अभी जस्ट हमने कहा कि इसमें यहाँ पे 2006 में ब्रेक्स इस्टेब्लिश हुआ था तो उसके बाद काफ़ी इंक्रीज इसमें जो है वो और आया है इसमें एफ डी आई में देट इज़ थर्टीन पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट और आफ्टर दैन फ्राम ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी वन देर वॉज 
an increase of uh, 150 billion dollars uh, that is 1.7 percent uh, increase so this means that uh, uh, there is too much uh, 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 nfdi of 355 billion dollars in the uh, uh, brex countries up is may تقریباً ورلڈ کی تمام بڑی جو اکانومیز ہیں تو انہوں نے بریکس کنٹریز میں انویسٹ کیا ہے بیکاز دے آر ایمرجنگ اکانومیز اینڈ گڈ مارکیٹ فار دا ڈیولپ کنٹریز ایز ویل دس گراف ٹیلز اس اباؤٹ دی کنٹریبیوشن آف دا ڈفرینٹ کنٹریز ان دی بریکس کنٹریز یہ جتنا ایف ڈی آئی فارن ڈائریکشن بریکس کنٹریز میں ہوئی ہے تو ٹوینٹی uh, 517 billion dollars جو ہے وہ رشیا اس میں یونائٹڈ اسٹیٹس کی تھی دس مینس کہ اسٹیل بریکس کنٹریز میں جو لارجسٹ ایف ڈی آئی ہے دیٹ از فرام یو ایس سیکنڈ جو کنٹریبیوشن ہے ایف ڈی آئی انفلوز میں وہ یو کے یو کے کی ہے 304 جو ڈالرز ہیں جو آؤٹ فلو ایف ڈی آئی کا ہے یونائٹڈ اسٹیٹس کی لیکن بریکس کا یہ انفلو ہے تو یہ 304 بلین ڈالرز ہے جو بہت بڑی انویسٹمنٹ ہے سیمیلرلی چائنا جاپان ہانگ کانگ جرمنی نیدرلینڈ فرانس سوئٹزرلینڈ اینڈ اسپین آر امنگ دا میجر اکانومیز ہو انویسٹڈ ان دی بریکس کنٹریز سیمیلرلی جو بریکس کنٹریز ہیں تقریباً تمام ورلڈ کی بڑی بڑی جو یونینز ہیں آرگنائزیشنز ہیں اکنامکس کی تو دے آر ممبرز آف دوز For example, press countries are influential members of the United Nations, the G20, the Non-Aligned Movement, and the Group of 77. Now, let's see that China and Russia, these are the two superpowers uh, of the United States, which have veto power. In so, they are very important from security point of view. G20, uh, important uh, economic uh, countries ka group, hai, جس میں یہ کنٹریز جو ہے وہ انفلوئنشل پوزیشن رکھتی ہیں ریشن فیڈریشن از اینادر ممبر آف دی بریکس اور اٹ از اے ممبر آف کامن ویلتھ آف انڈیپینڈنٹ اسٹیٹ کلیکٹیو سیکیورٹی ٹریٹی آرگنائزیشن اینڈ دی یوریزین اکانومک یونین سیمیلرلی چائنا اینڈ رشیا آر دی ممبرز آف دی شنگھائی کوپریشن آرگنائزیشن اینڈ ایشیا پیسیفک اکانومک کوپریشن Brazil is also uh, a member of the Union of the South American Nations, uh, Mercosur, and the community of the Latin American and Caribbean states. Similarly, South Africa is also a member of uh, many, uh, uh, many organizations, and India is an influential member of the SARC countries. Viewers, after discussing the importance of the, uh, the BRICS countries and their Uh, economies let's discuss the size of uh, brex economies okay economically your countries get this strong number one russia uh, russia your breaks may are alphabet hai, so that sent for russia the gdp growth rate in the 2023 was 0.7 percent uh, which is uh, not very high or the gdp uh, in current prices in the billions of us dollar was uh, 2.06 thousand Uh, a big economy uh, similarly the gdp per capita on current prices in the us dollars was 14.4 in 14400 us dollars uh, which is a high income high per capita income similarly the inflation rate was very high that was about 7% in the uh, russia and uh, it may be a part of the uh, in part of the the uh, world inflation rate at the world level Uh, similarly, uh, Russia is uh, uh, in war with the Ukraine, so uh, it may be the effect of the Ukraine war and uh, some of the sanctions from the uh, 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 world economies and uh, uh, due to the international uh, flow, uh, the international uh, layer of the inflation, so it was very high inflation. In the 2023, the uh, second country is the Brazil. Its population is 215.157 million and uh, the real GDP growth rate was 0.9 percent in the 2023 and uh, uh, its economy is uh, uh, 
uh, in the current uh, at the current price in the billions of US dollars 2.08 thousand billion dollars a big economy a bigger than Russia in 2023 the GDP per capita was uh, 9.67 thousand dollars it's also a very good uh, GDP uh, the similarly the inflation in the uh, in the Brazil was 5% uh, which is lower than Russia but still uh, it's uh, uh, it is controllable not like Pakistan it is far lower than Pakistan but uh, it was 5% China is an influential member of the BRICS countries uh, with population of 410 uh, million 1.41 billion uh, persons are living in the China very huge population the GDP grade rate was appreciable that is 5.2% 2023 the uh, GDP the GDP was 19.37 thousand billion dollars uh, similarly the GDP per capita is 13.72 thousand that is uh, 13,720 uh, very big uh, GDP per capita uh, the inflation rate was 2% uh, which was controlled one Another uh, emerging economy of the BRICS countries is uh, uh, India with a population of 1.44 thousand uh, people, billion people uh, means uh, it is uh, 1.4 billion or 1.44 thousand millions. Takriban uh, 1.44 uh, billion ek sharia chawalis Arab in ki population hai which is uh, nowadays higher than the Chinese population. The real GDP growth rate was 5.9% which is a high growth rate, uh, appreciable growth rate. Uh, similarly, the uh, GDP in the current price is 3.74 thousand billion dollars or jo, uh, GDP per capita head that is 2.6 thousand, uh, 2,600 uh, US dollars which is uh, greater than the uh, Pakistan GDP per capita and the inflation rate is at most 5% uh, in the Indian economy. South Africa has a population of 61.53 million. Uh, check uh, ye, uh, population is key. Comparatively, jo lower population among the Black countries. Uh, GDP growth rate was 0.1%, which is uh, quite low. Uh, the uh, GDP is 399.02 uh, billion US dollars. Uh, the GDP per capita is 6.49 thousand uh, which is higher than the Indian GDP per capita and uh, the uh, inflation rate is 5.8 percent uh, which is uh, uh, higher than the China and closer to a, a, mid a midway between the uh, Indian and the uh, Russian economies. Viewers, uh, the next question arises uh, what are the objectives of Breaks. Breaks Q establish who are the Kya is ke objectives they so uh, viewers next hai, um, what are the objectives of breaks? Mind by your question after breaks Q establish who is ke kya objectives they so breaks aims to increase the economic and political stability. The first join ka aim tha, that was economic and political stability among the member states and it is believed that by the end of 2050 these countries will be the main places where power services and raw materials come from. Ye expect kar rahe, uh, breaks countries uh, is working kar rahe ke, uh, 2020 tak trade ko itna spread kiya jai ke uh, world economy mein jo main jo suppliers hain products or services ke to wo in BRICS countries ke hon. Aur is mein hum dekh rahe hain ki Chinese uh, jo hai wo is ki bari wide market hai world level pe. Uh, Dunia ke kisi bhi country mein aap jayen to aapko Chinese products milengi. Russia is also very uh, good market. They are good producers. So uh, they can play a major role in the in, uh, uh, supply of the goods and services at the international level. The objectives include to increase, uh, deepen, and broaden cooperation among its member countries in order to promote growth, 
that is sustainable, fair, and good for everyone. This is an important objective. We see that uh, uh, the growth rate of the China is very high, the Russia is very high, or uh, now Bangladesh is also uh, trying to be member of the uh, Bangla uh, the BRICS. So, uska growth rate bhi kafi uh, high growth rate hai. So, jo high growth countries hain, toh mein se Bangladesh kafi shumar hota hai. So, inka ek jo aim hai ki wo uh, economic cooperation among the member state member state aise wo increase kare ki uh, saare jo countries hain, member states hain, toh wo economic growth ko uh, promote kare aur aise growth which is sustainable and fair and growth for everyone. Means that this growth is sustainable bhi ho or inclusive. Bhi ho. All of the members' growth, uh, members growth and progress are taken into account. This may be a specific country ki growth, ki ye baat nahi karenge, but they are working for the growth of all member states. To ensure that economic strengths of each country are used to build relations and eliminate the competition where possible. It was one of the objectives that this. जो एक दूसरे की जो एनर्जीज हैं रिसोर्सेज हैं तो उसको ऑप्टिमल लेवल तक यूटिलाइज किया जाए और जो अनफेयर कंपटीशन है उसको एलिमिनेट किया जाए ब्रेक्स इज बिकमिंग अ न्यू एंड प्रॉमिसिंग डिप्लोमेटिक एंड पॉलिटिकल रूप विद अ गोल दैट गो फार बियॉन्ड द ओरिजिनल गोल तो मेजर गोल तो उनका इकोनॉमिक एंड पॉलिटिकल स्टेबिलिटी था लेकिन ब्रेक्स इज इमर्जिंग एज अ वर्ल्ड पावर वर्ल्ड पॉलिटिकल ग्रुप ये बन रहा है Initially, it was only to solve the global financial problems and change the way the institutions work. World level, we have the political issues, we have the, uh, the, the economic issues. So, uh, BRICS is playing an important role in the political uh, issues of the world. We in that in the, in the late 80s and early 90s, uh, there was uh, the disintegration of the Russia. उसमें से ये अजरबैजान काजाकिस्तान वगैरह जो है ये इंडिपेंडेंट स्टेट्स बन गए थे देयर वाज अ टाइम ऑफ द द टफ टाइम फॉर द रशिया और इसी की वजह से रशिया जो वर्ल्ड है तो वो यूनिपोलर वर्ल्ड बन गया जिसमें तकरीबन हम देखते हैं कि 90s और 2000 का जो डेकेड है तो उसमें यूएस ने वर्ल्ड लेवल पे जो किया तो वो सबके सामने है क्योंकि यूनिपोलर वर्ल्ड था but now in order to in order to 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 cope with the uh, such issues brex ne wo unipolar ka concept jo hai wo khatam kar diya hai ab world unipolar nahi raha aur brex agar develop hota hai to fir uh, isme uh, it will be a world power aur jitni tezi se ye log ja rahe hain aur recently in mein jo developments ho rahi hai especially they are working for the common currency and for the uh, the uh, they have established a bank so uh, uh, meetings being regular or he has so uh, it will it will be a big power very soon what are the main areas of cooperation within the BRICS? up to BRICS countries and to main kiss kiss field may walk operate curtain number one is the economic cooperation there are rapidly growing trade and investment flows between the BRICS countries as well as economic cooperation activities across a range of sectors. BRICS are the sectors that are being cooperated with. And you have seen that in the beginning we have seen a chart, uh, we have seen a graph, that we have seen the FDI inflow, that we have seen the BRICS countries in FDI inflow. And these countries ne member countries ne aapas mein jo hai wo kafi agreement trade ki kiye russian abhi recently india ne bangladesh ke sath agreement kiya hai ki jo bangladesh hai wo trade karega indian rupees mein uske sath kafi trade uska jo hai hai india ke sath abhi wo indian rupees mein trade karenge this means the de-dollarization so brexit is playing an important role in the de-dollarization Agreements have been uh, concluded in the areas of economic and trade cooperation, innovation cooperation, custom cooperation, strategic cooperation between the BRICS Business Council, uh, Contingent Reserve Agreement, and the New Development Bank. This is a big improvement uh, I have in BRICS countries made the New Development Bank. They have established a New Development Bank, uh, which if developed can be a replacement uh, of the IMF and World Bank for the BRICS countries. Similarly, they are working for the common currency as well. 
Uh, these agreements contribute to the realization of the shared objective of deepening economic cooperation and fostering integrated trade and investment market. They are, are trying uh, their best uh, to liberalize the trade among the member states. Or, abhi almost uh, 17 uh, uh, 18 countries uh, are willing to be members of the BRICS. So, if those countries join BRICS join them, or if they are the European Union, ke tarah, uh, they become a uh, 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 tariff free zone. So, trade in the high increase will increase, and one of the resources they will be utilized. Similarly, they are working for the common currency as well. So, if this free, free trade area is declared, और ये मोमेंट ऑफ लेबर फोर्स इसमें ये भी मोमेंट हो जाता इसकी फ्री हो जाती है सिमिलरली अगर uh, इनकी जो कॉमन जो पॉसिबिलिटी है कि कुछ इनकी uh, एक कॉमन इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी टुवर्ड द वर्ल्ड हो जाता है तो दे कैन चेंज इनटू द कस्टम यूनियन एंड द इकोनॉमिक यूनियन पीपल टू पीपल एक्सचेंज दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरिया वेयर द they can take the advantage of the uh, capabilities uh, from of one another. Uh, the Brex members have recognized the need for strengthening the people-to-people -people exchanges and to foster closer cooperation in the areas of culture, sport, education, swim, and youth. These are the areas. Now, if you look at the culture, ko dekhne to the, the Brex countries have very diverse culture. Chinese culture, ko dekhne, Indian culture, very rich culture, Russian culture, Brazilian culture. To, uh, they can uh, they can they can take the benefits of this diverse culture sports we know that uh, world level pe jo jitni bhi olympics hoti hain to usme china india aur russia ki badi contribution hoti hai brazil ki contribution hoti hai so they can cooperate in the uh, in the sport education very important field ek dusri ke rossi se student exchange program ke through they uh, they they can take the advantage from one another film काफी बड़ी मार्केट है वाइड मार्केट है इंडियन इंडस्ट्री जो है वो फिल्म इंडस्ट्री बड़ी इंडस्ट्री है सिमिलरली चाइना और रशिया ब्राजील उनके लिए एक अच्छी मार्केट जो है वो इनकी मूवीज के लिए साबित हो सकती है और रशियन इंडियन जो मूवीज हैं वो यहां पे इंडियन बड़ी मार्केट है तो यहां से एडवांटेज ले सकते हैं यूथ एक्सचेंज प्रोग्राम हो सकता है पीपल टू पीपल एक्सचेंज सीक टू फॉर न्यू फ्रेंडशिप डीप एंड रिलेशन Mutual understanding between the Brex people in the spirit of openness, inclusiveness, diversity, and mutual learning. Sure, I have told you that the Brex countries they are very diverse in culture, in sports, in capabilities, in abilities. So, uh, through the people uh, to people exchange programs, they can uh, get the benefit from the human capital of one another. They can uh, develop the infrastructure. Especially India ki to acha hai kyunke jo Chinese hai, Russian hai, to infrastructure mein kafi ye advance hai. Science and technology mein, uh, dekh lehen bhi Russia ne, uh, uh, India ne recently jo hai, wo ek spaceship bheji hai, moon pe. So, uh, is Russia bhi kafi aage hai, us pe uh, space program mein jana bhi hai. To, in the field of science and technology, uh, culture, uh, education, uh, film, sports, they can they, they they can play an important role. Such people to people exchange program include Yet Diplomats Forum, Parliamentarian Forum, Trade Union Forum, Civil Brics, as well as the Media Forum. Political and security cooperation. This is another area of cooperation for the uh, member states of the uh, Brics countries. Or ye ek dusre ke saath cooperate bhi kar rahe hain. Is area pe ek dusre ko jo uh, security wise ek se ko strengthen karne ki koshish kar rahe hain aur uh, they can form a very good political group jaise aapko maine bataya ki 90s ke mein jo hai uh, world unipolar, uh, unipolar ho gaya tha to uh, brex jo hai uska ek liye ek bada breakthrough hai cooperation mechanism the cooperation among the members is achieved through uh, ab ye cooperation kaise hogi uh, number 1 uh, formal diplomatic engagement between the member governments ke एक दूसरे के कंट्रीज में ब्रेक्स कंट्रीज में ये डिप्लोमेट्स भेजे हैं और ये भेज भी रहे हैं कोऑपरेशन को बढ़ाने के लिए एग्रीमेंट साइन करने के लिए ट्रेड टू एंगेजमेंट थ्रू द गवर्नमेंट एफिलिएटेड इंस्टीट्यूशंस स्टेट ऑन एंटरप्राइजेस एंड द 
बिजनेस काउंसिल्स ये पब्लिक प्राइवेट जो पार्टनरशिप है या पब्लिक और प्राइवेट सेक्टर उनके थ्रू एंगेजमेंट एक्सचेंज ऑफ दी डिप्लोमेट्स सिविल सोसाइटी एंड पीपल टू पीपल पीपल एंगेजमेंट यही जैसे आपको मैंने कहा कि जस्ट लाइक द यूरोपियन यूनियन ये भी शिंगन कंट्रीज ये लोग कर सकते हैं कि जो स्टूडेंट एक्सचेंज को आपको प्रोग्राम डेवलप कर सकते हैं जी के पी एच डी के लिए एम फिल के लिए स्पेसिफिक फील्ड में कि जी एक सेमेस्टर आप जो है वो बाकी सेमेस्टर आपके यहाँ पे लेकिन एक सेमेस्टर आपकी अपॉर्चुनिटी होगी अक्रॉस द ब्रैक्स कंट्रीज तो इस तरह जो है वो ह्यूमन कैपिटल डेवलपमेंट होगी साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी की डेवलपमेंट होगी और इनका इकानमिक कोऑपरेशन होगा तो व्यूअर्स होपफुली यू मे हैव इंजॉयड दिस लेक्चर और uh, आपके कमेंट्स सेक्शन में जो है आप कमेंट्स भी कर सकते हैं और uh, कोई भी uh, आप मुझे कॉन्टैक्ट भी कर सकते हैं uh, किसी भी क्वेश्चन के लिए किसी भी इंफॉर्मेशन uh, के लिए रेलिवेंट टू द ब्रेक्स so we will continue in the lecture number 3 special lecture number 3 uh, the role of the brex in the de-dollarization uh, what is dollarization what is de-dollarization or uh, dollar ka us ko kya fayda hai us ko agar dollar jo hai wo international level pe weak currency ban jati hai to world ki economies hain unko kya fayda hai so uh, thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, lecture uh, see you in the next lecture uh, allah peace